Hey everybody, back with an episode of Supernatural. Last episode was a tough hang for me, but really good, and I'm actually really glad it happened. Uh, specifically, it happening after the episode we had before that, where I was feeling really good about not having to have a sacrifice. Like, that was really put on the table, and I was all in. Uh, but the the last episode really was like, oh, are you are you sure that's what you want? Are you sure that's the only goal or end game? Because here it is. Uh, no sacrifice <laughs> means that Dean and Sam don't get to be the heroes because they can't get past their need to not give each other up even if the cost is the end of the world. And uh, that is what has been on the table this season because of what they did at the end of last season. So I definitely feel like last episode is a warning. It almost feels like the end, like something Zachariah set up for them to show them what will happen if they don't change and that was a conversation they had earlier in the season about the fact that they need to change dean certainly has not hasn't changed one lick thank you skk for pointing out to me that dean did the uh reaper thing back in season six completely slipped my mind guys oh <laughs> these episodes are adding up and i just completely forgot about that but I went back and watched my little YouTube edited reaction to that. And I was like, oh, that was risky, Dean. And uh, yeah, it was risky then, it's risky now. And the biggest difference is the, the, the Billy thing that we learned early this season. That uh, going to a Reaper to bargain was not going to work. But Dean was so, you know save Sam at every cost, every, I mean every, uh, he decided to try it and uh, it didn't work. And if, if Dean and Sam hadn't have miraculously survived the almost unsurvivable there, everybody would be fucked. So, uh, you know, I, I know where Dean's coming from, but they're just so lucky that they live to keep fighting for now. But oof, we that was that was tough. And uh it, it gave me the feelings that I had at the end of season eight. I was like, oh wow, you know, it's really beautiful what Dean and Sam will do for each other, but then at the same time, it really has held them back from their hero's journey. Um, it's the it's the best and worst things about them. And uh, what had frustrated me so much from the end of season eight was I felt like the show didn't, or I was worried that the show wouldn't show that what that was wasn't heroic. And uh, eventually it has bore out that you know, it, it, it was something that uh, was a hindrance, and just like this was. Um, so I think when I was initially watching last episode, I was just like, oh, God, here we go again. It's just like, oh, they're going to save each other. And while, yes, at, at, on one hand, it's beautiful, it is also super destructive in their goal and in, 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 in the world. So as long as what happened last episode is a cautionary tale, and can shake Dean out of, I don't think, oh, that's the thing. I think Sam has learned the lesson, but I don't know if Dean has. And even after everything that happened last episode, I just don't know if he gets it. I think maybe he gets it, but he doesn't like get it. Like he won't confront that thing, that about himself. Um, I don't know. Next episode is called Hell's Angel, and let's fucking go. Give me some goddamn Gasper. I need to know that his being out, being here is what it's all for. 
and uh, you know, see what hell's up to. If Crowley's going to show back up, I'm you know, the, the, we're we're getting into this back half here. I need to know. We need some direction because I feel very directionless after last episode. It's just. It doesn't seem like Sam and Dean are going to get it together, but I know that they will. I just don't like, I don't see the path yet. Uh, so hopefully we're going to get informed in that, in this episode, but I don't know. I don't know. We're on our episodes though. So I hope so. Let's get into it. The horn of Joshua touched by the hand of God. What are you going to do with that? I don't think I have long. I'm very prescient of you. He said he wouldn't take your soul, not not kill you. Why, Crowley? Why? Please, God, go to Sam and Dean. Please. That's promising if he's willing to work with us. You know they should be doing a jig. Yes. I don't jig. Oh my God. I don't feel any different for all of your promises. Let's go. Feeling bad? Sarah alone, you will talk. It's Mr. Knight. Where do you think that you're coming alone? You're his mother. Oh my god. Say what, dear? Oh my god. How? Oh my god, I don't care how. I'm so happy. <laughs> With this group. Like yourself, I'm a survivor. Look at her. That's cool. Oh my god. Don't help Amara though. Help us. Right now you're so weak from the pesky inches smiting. Really? That affected her. You can fix that that much. What? I just said I'd give you the thing. If. <laughs> say, say thank you. I'll give you the horn if you help me exercise Lucifer from Castiel's vessel and then return him immediately to the cage. Well, that's what we all want. Okay. Deal. Now where is this horn? Safely hidden. It took a spell from the Book of the Damned to spring Lucifer and Arena hid the book. And we would oh, Rowena! And her to even have a shot. What are y'all doing? <gasps> Lucifer. He's in heaven? With all of the power of heaven behind you, couldn't even slow the bitch down. Oh, it did! No need to feel like abject losers. Is this their parliament? A valuable lesson here. You need me. Oh. I didn't buy in to his obsessive, compulsive love for mankind. Mankind is his creation. You should oh, like Amara. Come on. Hey, if it makes you comfy, you can call me God. Oh, God, I can't think of anything worse. Okay, let's just put it in reverse. Priority is to put the horn in Lucifer's hands and set him loose on Amora. That's the we plan? We exercise Lucifer out of gas and put him into a new vessel. Which vessel? Oh, oh Dane. Yes. Really Y'all have talked about this. Inside gas. I'm guessing it can hold Lucifer. It? It's not an it, Sam. It's Cass. And Cass wanted to do this. Yeah, well, there's times I want to get slapped during sex by a girl wearing his oral mask. I don't make it a good idea. Damn. Dean, this is exactly how we score ourselves. Cass is family. Yes, and his choice deserves to be respected. Even if it kills him. It's killing me. Oh, my God. Oh, I love I love Cass, too, but I, I think I'm with, I think I'm with Sam. Careful. Yeah. <laughs> too much, too soon. <laughs> He's selling it. Laying it on thick. You know what they say, he who hesitates disintegrates. Oh. <laughs> this is a dick move, Crowley. Even for you. Oh, God. I, oh, God. Oh, God. How time. Run, dude. It made its way to heaven? Jesus. Is Lucifer gonna be enough? You love it. You're loving this. You know what, fellas? I think that's her. <laughs> you think? And that. Great. Thanks, Rowena. Why are we arguing? We all know <gasps> Rowena quit! It makes sense. What are the 
Winchester's preparing to do? Don't. Don't. Nothing. Paralyzed with fear, they don't know what to do. Oh. She's playing both sides? Actually handy to have her in. Yeah, Thanks. girl. Rowena, come on. She's a lot. What did you say? She's a lot. Come to us. Come to us. When we sprung Lucifer from the cage, we had Rowena and the Book of the Dead. We? Both of which we will need to put him back in the cage, both of which are gone. Guys. Oh! She's, she's making herself known. Okay. Oh, my God. I hate this. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> By the way, where the hell is Crowley? He's the one that boxed us into doing this. You think he'd have the decency to show up? He does. So, Romina's just here, and she's just like, okay, I'm gonna help. Well, what? The trap really isn't a trap, is it? I summon you to make an offer. The weapon by which its bearer can crush the darkness forever. Why does it have to be him? Because he's the only archangel left? Oh, God! And it would be king feelings. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh my God. <gasps> Cass. Oh my God. Oh my God. I. Fuck. There for a minute, but these mail order spells, they're just not what they're cracked up to be, are they? But yes, expel him. You gotta kick Lucifer out, you hear me? Honestly, and go where? I think he's happy with the arrangement. And he did invite me in or anything. Yes, yes. that's the thing. No, what? What the act? Crowley? What the fuck is happening? <gasps> what? what are we doing? Oh my god! Cash, Crowley, and Lucifer in the same motherfucking vessel? The Winchesters have trapped the abomination so that you can expel him so that they can put this him back in the This is how he was earlier this season. Well, that doesn't sound like a very good idea. Cass. Your current state, you're in no position to judge. You may have a more objective view of the situation. Maybe I should. So let's do it now before it's too late. It already is. Fuck! Go away! The warning's beginning to fail. No! Hurry up it! What the fuck are we you doing? Guys, what the hell? Help you? How? Really? Come on! Cass! Everyone in hell despises you. And sees you for exactly what you are. Not me. Okay, the red is that's Kylie. What about Cass? Cass. Fuck. He needs you. Where's the hand of God? <gasps> Fuck. <gasps> God damn it. God damn it. Rowena? Rowena. Rowena. Okay, go defeat Amara. You have the thing. <gasps> what is happening? This is happening right now? It's episode 18. This is not going to work. There's no way. <gasps> Careful. Careful with the vessel. I think you and I need to have a nice, long chat. You scared? I'm scared. I'm scared. Babe, please. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dean Diller Buck has. But if the thing has to be used by God's chosen, then maybe an archangel who got the boot doesn't qualify. Sam? By the way, horns out of ammo. I know I came down on the side of wanting Cass to deal with Amara. So well, that's what we want to do, right? It is. So as didn't we say that we were going to swear off, get in the way when one person makes a choice the other doesn't agree with? So that's our policy. Oh. Which sounds damn good. <laughs> well, let's go find that idiot and bring him home. Oh, honey! Ah! Ah! I'm gonna. Oh! I 
meant it. Trust you once. Did you? You and my brother conspired to seal me away. You may be the one thing in all of creation that he still cares about. You the think? The thing that could finally make him show himself. Nah. Careful! Careful! Stop! 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 Please! Amara! It's not just him in there! This episode was far too much for me. Too much. In a way that it was too much. They should have spread that shit out. The... Uh, the Rowena stuff happened far too fast. She's back. She's with Amara. Then she's with the boys. Then she's with or Lucifer. Like, what the fuck? She's just like, hey, Fergus, and I'm back, and I'm helping. That, like, what? We didn't even get a scene where she's like, yeah, this is what happened. And uh, last time we saw each other, you know, things were said. No, no time. No time for that. And can someone please explain to me what their goal was? Were they doing what Dean wanted? Where Dean wanted to get Cass back? Where, where was Lucifer going to go? Didn't they want him to use the... The hand of God? I mean, it totally didn't work. Also, last episode, Dean was like, Sam is the one that's going to defeat Amara. But, like, here, y'all thought this was going to work, and Sam wasn't involved at all. So what are we doing? Okay. That didn't work. It's going to have to be Dean. But also maybe Sam. They're saying that Lucifer wasn't able to do it because he's not God's favorite. So it has to be Dean or Sam. Sam seems like the obvious choice, but Dean's the one with the connection with Damara. So maybe it's both of them. But it ain't with Lucifer. And oh my God! Cass, are you okay? Please, please, Amara, please. Oh my God, my head hurts. That was too much. I, I'm so happy Rowena's not dead. <laughs> oh my God, I knew, I knew we need a witch. I knew we need a witch. And uh, just a little bit of time, with, or a lot of time. It's been a while. Amara really got depleted when they smote her, smited her. But uh, it seemed like she started really feeling bad when she took the angel soul. But maybe that was just, you know, it took a while for the, the smiting to really affect her and it really did and Rowena helped but then she quickly realized that that endeavor is not going to serve her because I don't think Amara would necessarily include her in the fight against all creation I feel like Rowena would be a part of what she destroys too or at least that's definitely how she feels because she quickly changed sides um God, God, these plot, 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 plot episodes, they don't give us a lot of time for character stuff. And uh, I would have liked more with Crowley and Rowena. But the opening scene was cool. Good to see Crowley still helping, even though, you know, he's trying to help himself, but he didn't go to Amara, he went to the boys, which I love to see. Um, and you know, Lucifer had been having everybody look out for him because he wanted to kill him. And obviously Crowley's upset about how he was treated. But uh, we all have to be on the same side here, including with Lucifer. But now Lucifer seems like he's trying to team up with Amara, but she is, like, destroying him currently, which it seems like. But Cass, oh, my God. 
it was really upsetting to see him just inside the vessel, just doing what he did earlier in the season, watching television and, and not engaging in the fight and letting Lucifer take the reins. Oh my God, the, the visuals looking so similarly to the man who would be king yeah, had me and my fucking feelings and, and Dean being so like so persistent about getting cast back. I love to see it, but also it opens up some interesting stuff going forward now with uh, Sam and Dean saying they're going to honor choices that the other make. But, uh, shit. This is so messy. Because now it doesn't seem like we need Lucifer. So was it a mistake bringing him in the fold? I mean, they all thought that they needed an archangel to do it. And it turns out that is not true. So now we don't even need Lucifer here at all. We just got to get Cass back. But at least we have Rowena who could potentially get him back in the, in the cage, I think. That's if they fucking survive what Amara's doing right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love that they uh, that Sam and Dean talked about what all happened at the end there and Sam being like, look, I'm, I'm sorry that I was on that side of it. Uh, but, you know, I was on that side of it with him because that is we heard from Cass that that's what he wanted to do. But I think Cass deserves to know now that Lucifer can't do it. And I think if he knows that, then he would choose to expel him. But how do you even reach him now? If, oh my God, if Amara won't fucking stop what she's doing. But even at the end there, they, they weren't letting go of it. They were like, we got to save Castile, which thank you. Appreciate that. Um, Damn. Damn it. Now Lucifer's just another fucking problem. I mean, I'm assuming whatever Amar is doing to him is not going to work and Cass and Lucifer is still going to be in the picture. Because no, Cass ain't going out like that. No, 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 no. Oh, God. This was so much. Jesus fucking Christ. Rowena surviving she just was like you know what i'm gonna have a little fell safe in my leg and you know it's gonna start working as soon as i'm in trouble y'all need that frankly but uh, i'm glad she saved herself and i'm glad she realized that amara ain't it so even though crowley and rowena kind of jetted when the fire got hot they still need to help because they know what Amara is going to do. You know, we heard her out a little bit more and she's still upset about everything. Of course she is, but it does seem like she is dead set on ridding the universe of God's creation. And that's everybody. So that's, that's the problem. But Lucifer and her talking made it seem like they are. I mean, they're still trying to get God to come out of the woodwork. And he still hasn't done it. Maybe he's dead. But I feel like they would know. I don't know what they should do. This is so messy. Boy, when Amara showed up, I was like, this feels like a finale. But it was just a uh, an episode to show us that Lucifer ain't it. He's not the one. 
Now he's just another problem. I think Cass's sacrifice is noble. It just sucks that it's not what is going to do it. Lucifer's not it. Maybe what's happening to him right now will make him see that he needs to help Dan Sam to take her out. I don't know how we get cast back though. I, I just don't understand how Dean and Sam went from the argument about what to do with Sam to, to doing the spell, trapping him in, and then trying to get Cass to excise him. Unless that was Dean just going rogue in that moment. But it's not like they had a standby vessel. So what, what, where was Lucifer going to go? Maybe I missed something. I don't know. But this was a lot. And I don't know what to do. I don't know what they're going to do. But baby, I'm so happy Rowena's still alive. Ah! <laughs> She's so great. She's so fucking great. Look at her. And she may still play a role. Oh, God. This was so fast paced. Like, I wish the first part of this episode with the Rowena and Crowley stuff happened in, an, in another episode that previous to this. Because too much was happening, like things had to happen too fast to get everything they needed to have done in this episode happen. And when you do that, you sacrifice character. And uh, we got no good, we got, we got a lot of good character moments, but there's some that were necessary that we didn't get, like with specifically Crowley and Rowena. Oh, look, I was like, Rowena's here and she's helping? Like that just happened so fast. She was with Rowena a second ago. We got no like scene of them like talking to her about it. Lucifer up in heaven. God, he oh, he's such a smarmy asshole. I hate him. I really want Cass to defeat him. I know they want to save Cass, but I want Cass to want to save himself. I need him to know that he did make a new a mistake here. Lucifer is not what we need. But I need him to pick himself up and turn off that TV. <laughs> and take your vessel back. Jesus, three of them in there at once? That's a wild. Jimmy's vessel is the shit, honestly. Uh, I am a little unnerved by what it means that Sam and Dean had that conversation at the end because I don't know if Dean, like, I feel like Sam will, but Dean won't. Um, you know, he won't let a choice stand if it's going to be a sacrifice. At least going by last episode, he won't. I don't know. I like this season a lot, but it, I would just rearrange some shit. I wouldn't have had Lucifer get out of the cage until a couple episodes ago. I would have let last episode be something that happened earlier in the season because that was something that we needed to investigate after they did what they did at the end of the season 10. Really look at the sacrifice thing and what they are and are not willing to do. And then like the whole cage and Lucifer shit was so huge so early in the se season and it kind of like changed the focus away from Amara and figuring her out. And now like, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel very discombobulated with how this season has progressed. 
and what they've given me I've liked, but it's so, it feels so out of order. <laughs> Like, well, like, what has Lucifer been doing? And Amara, like, she's literally just been chilling with Rowena this whole time. They could have shown us that earlier. God. I really like this episode. Obviously, when shit's popping off, I'm here for it. But, oh, my God. I'm so confused by everything that happened in the way that it happened. I don't know what I feel. But I agree with Dean and Sam. I agree that whatever happens, choices need to be respected. And that's why I was on the side of Sam there, even though I love, love, to see how much Dean wants to save Cass. Like, obviously that means a lot to me. But at the same time, Cass and Sam have always been sim similar and uh, he understands why Cass did what he did. And uh, knows that he deserves the respect of his choice in the same way he wants that. So oh, that was a lot. But, oh, what now? What? What are they going to do? They got to find another hand of God. Another one. How many are there? I mean, I imagine, I guess he just touched a lot of shit. It's his shit. He made it all. But I guess he touched a lot. So find another one and Dean and Sam are going to have to use it and or I, I don't maybe they both use it at the same time. I don't know how that's going to work, but it's one of them. And they have to know that it is either it's one of them, like if they're trying to like, who who could it be? They have to know it's not anybody else. It's one of them. So how did they decide? If it was Lucifer, the most obvious choice would be Sam because that vessel situation. But the Dean and Amara connection cannot be nothing. It has to matter. She did like help them when Lucifer like trapped them to the chair. She is the one that like broke that. But it's not like Dean and Amara had a moment again. It's not like Dean tried to do something and he couldn't. I don't know. There are going to be some choices to make. It seems. And. Uh, I really hope Cass makes it out of there. Ah. But it was great to see the boys working with Crowley again. Love to see that, even though I don't know if we're ever going to get back to where we were. Specifically with Dean and Crowley. But they are on the same side here. For different reasons, but I'll take it. And I think Rowena isn't going to flip flop again. I don't think I don't think uh, Amara would let her. So she's going to have to help us and it serves her. So I feel like she will. Lucifer is the wild card, which he always is. But if he survives whatever Amara is doing, which he has to, that's, he has to uh, just, but I wouldn't say that in, if, if Cass wasn't in there, but there, there's no way they would let Cass go out like that. So would he help us? He has to. He at least needs to tell us what it took because he has said that he underplayed how much help he actually had. 
So he needs to tell exactly how he did it last time. I don't know if he will. He's such a bitch. I hate him. Oh, God. And we saw Mark Pellegrino again. Like, I've gotten used to him being Misha. And I can tell exactly when I was like, oh, no. That's not cast. <laughs> It was wild to see Lucifer in heaven, though. I, ah, oh God. This was a good episode. I don't think it was a great episode. But it certainly changed things in the direction we're going in. Lucifer's not it. And we do have to save Cass now. Cass has to save Cass. And the boys have to figure out what they're willing to do. What they're willing to let the other do. That's what it's going to come down to. God, I feel like if Amara talked to, like, maybe Dean or Sam. And kind of, like, got to know humanity a little bit. Maybe she would let the ball you know play the ball where it lies like do we have to destroy everything and start over like i don't necessarily think she would have a good idea but uh if she would like to be a better god i'd be willing to hear it out but i don't think that's where she's at so we will have to destroy her and not just lock her back up. Let's not do that. Let's also not do that with Lucifer. Can we destroy him? Because otherwise he's always going to be a problem. In the same way Amara could come back and be a problem again. You have to like, can we put them in the empty? I don't know what the empty is. But hell ain't holding him forever. And wherever Amara was isn't going to hold her forever. You've got to end them. But I don't know how you do that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we should do about anything. But uh, this was a lot. And my main takeaway is that Rowena is still here. Woo! So happy. <laughs> so happy about that. But uh, yeah, things don't look great. But now they must reassess, figure out something else. Lucifer is not going to be what does it. So hopefully now that Crowley and Rowena have played their cards, we can bring them in. Because it is going to be a collective thing, it feels like. And, you know, it was here, even though chess pieces kept moving around the board a lot. But, uh, you know, I think everyone's allowed to tell the tale except for whatever's happening to Cass and Lucifer. But oh, I think I think they'll make it out. I think, I think, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, good episode. Whew. I'm going to have to sit with this one. But, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll be back soon.